Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to unwrap a game asset like this in Blender. So let's get started. Go to shading, select the blade, click on new, press shift A and search for image texture. Now connect color to base color, click on new and rename it to checkers. I am changing width and height to 2048 for better resolution of the checkers. Click on generator type and select UV grid from the drop down menu. Click on OK to apply the settings. Now link this material to other parts of the object. Press A to select all the pieces. Now hold down shift and deselect the blade and then select it again. The blade will have a bright orange line in compare with other pieces. Press Ctrl L and click on link material option. So the material is applied to all the pieces of the model. Here in the 3D viewport, click on option menu and activate the live unwrap box. Now in the 2D viewport, activate this UV sync selection option. Remove this checkers visibility from 2D viewport. Now select the blade and press shift H to hide other pieces. Hit tab button to go to edit mode. Press 2 to be in edge selection. Hold down alt and click on this edge. By holding down alt, it will select the entire edge loop. Now hold down shift and alt and select this edge loop as well. By holding down shift and alt, we'll add the new selection to the previous selected edge loop. So we have selected two edge loops. Now press U to open this menu. In the down the list, you will find mark seam. This will convert the selection into seams. To check this, press Z to go to material preview. We have divided the blade UVs into two pieces. There are some distortion at the edge of the blade but that's ok for me. If you want, you may add some corner side cuts into the blade to relax the UVs. For me, it is done. The unwrapping process is very simple and straightforward in Blender. Jump out from the edit mode by hitting tab button and press alt s to unhide all objects. Let's select this wire for unwrapping next. Hide others. Go to edit mode. Make sure you press 2 to activate as selection. Hold down Alt and select this edge loop. Now again, hold down Shift and Alt and select this edge loop. If there is a partially edge loop like this, no problem. Simply keep holding down Shift and Alt and keep selecting edges until it will create a loop. Now press U and select Mark Seam. Now we have 3 UV chunks. One in the middle and one on each side. If we hold down ALT and click on the middle, it will select the entire loop along the 3 UV chunks. But we don't want the loop to go across the side UV chunks. So how do we limit the edge loop selection to the middle chunk only? Simple, just hide the UV chunks from 3D viewport for a second. Press 3 to go to face selection mode. Hover your mouse on the side UVs and press L. This will select the sides. Now press edge to hide it on 3D viewport. Press 2 to go to edge selection, hold down alt and select this edge loop. Just keep in mind that we make the seam position right as much as possible. Means we will not be able to see the seams on the game model. Now press U and select mark seam. Because we activate the live unwrap option in the beginning, we get instant result on 3D viewport. Now press alt s to unhide the sides. Now hit tab button to go to object mode. Press Alt H again to unhide all other objects. So this is how we can easily unwrap the pieces one by one. I will be back when all other pieces are done.
Hello friends, I am back. So this is the final result of the unwrapping. I hope you will get the same result if you watch carefully all the steps in this video. I also lined the UV so that it will look professional. UV should be properly placed on the 2D viewport as well so that anyone who will see and texture the model will be easily do that. I hope you like this mini tutorial on UV unwrapping a game model. I will see you in the next video. So friends, keep practicing. Thank you.